A, B, C are real numbers. A plus B equal to 6. A, B minus C squared equal to 9. We want to find A, B, and C. So, first, we try to use replacement. We can say B, if you take A to right-hand side, it's 6 minus A. And if we replace in next equation, we can see that A times B instead of B, we write 6 minus A minus C squared equal to 9. In next step, we try to simplify. It will be 6A minus A squared minus C squared equal to 9. Now we take all things to the right-hand side. It will be A squared minus 6A plus 9 plus C squared. Now, we should know some identity. One of them is this. x minus y squared equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. Now, use this identity and try to write this word as, for example, something squared. We can write it as a minus 3 squared plus c squared. Now, <clears throat> because a, b, c are real numbers, from assumption of the problem, each term is at least zero because they are square numbers. And because some of them equal to zero, so each of them should be zero. So we conclude a minus 3 equal to zero and c equal to zero. From this part, if we add 3 to both sides, a equal to 3. And because a equal to 3, we can say b is 6 minus 3 equal to 3. So let's rewrite all things we've reached so far. a equal to 3 b equal to 3, c equal to 0. Now, if we check first equation, is satisfied a plus b equal to 6. Second equation, a, b is 9 minus c squared minus 0 squared is 9. So, we found all values of a, b, c. Okay, this idea, this idea that, for example, writing as sum of square numbers is useful. Also, we can solve harder problems. It's useful in many Olympiad exams and also summer uh camps like for example i can say ross or awesome math sumac these are some summary camps any math exams this idea is so much useful if you want to learn important ideas like this feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments and please don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell and like the video thanks see you next time bye